Okay, as the headline says, January 5, 2016 at CES, the announcement is that the D5 is official and goes to super high ISO. It's a big, heavy DSLR, shoots 12 frames a second, just a fantastic powerhouse of a pro camera, but the 4K video is limited to 30 frames per second, 30p. And a pro camera at $6,500 in this day and age, that is not good enough, Nikon, sorry. Especially for a camera that shoots sports, action, events, that's really what it's designed for. And if you're going to use this camera as a hybrid camera, if you're going to shoot stills and video clips, you're going to want to shoot in 4K, and you're going to want to shoot at at least 60 frames per second. Action at less than 60 frames per second is dicey at best. And the competition, including Sony, has rolled out recently a number of cameras that shoot 60 frames per second in the same price range, as has Panasonic. Now, the less expensive uh, Sony A7S Mark II does not shoot 60 frames per second, and I was kind of disappointed in that, even though I did buy the camera and I love the camera. But that's significantly less money than this Pro Nikon D5. And if you're going to spend $6,500, you're probably going to want to keep this camera for a while. And I guarantee you in a year or two, all the cameras that are anywhere approaching a Pro level price point are going to have 60 frames per second and 4K video. And again, to future-proof your content, you're going to want to shoot in 4K. You're not going to want to bump down to 1080p where it probably does faster frame rates. So to me, this is a no-go. This is a stay-away camera. Don't buy it. And those of you that say, well, I only shoot stills. Well, you're dinosaurs anyway. Because let's face it, it's all about stills and video clips these days. So let me know what you think. Are you buying the D5? Are you going to go ahead and shell out $6,500 for a unit that is pretty much obsolete from day one when it comes to 4K video? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.